Well, hey there, guys, and thanks for tuning in to an all new Ed's Retro Geek Out video. Today, we're doing a top five TMNT worst figures ever. It's a trap! Quick, run for it! This is actually the hardest video I had to do up till now. Because you know I love the vintage TMNT toy line by Playmates. I'm gonna focus just on that. So no Nickelodeon stuff or anything like that. We're gonna take a look at, in my opinion, the worst action figures made by Playmates in the late 80s and early 90s. First up, I wanna do a really big shout out to Laura Legends for providing me with the topic for this top five on the previous top 10 TMNT action figures. She posted, hey, you should do like a top 10 worst or whatever. She actually has a very cool channel. I love watching her videos, so definitely go and check her out if you haven't already. Like I was saying before, picking out just five is even really hard for me. I love the Playmates vintage toy line. I grew up with this stuff, so there's nostalgia in there. There's, you know, just me being like, hey, uh, when I was a kid, I wanted all these toys. So I didn't care back then that they didn't look like a cartoon or if they didn't stand up properly. You always have to like hold them in your hands because they wouldn't stand up by themselves, you know? So there's a ton of really great sculpts out there, really cool gimmicky turtles. I, I managed to pick five that seem to have annoyed me for the past couple of years. So let's get right into it with the top five. Here's number five. Kicking off number five is actually a foot soldier. I love collecting these. They're an army builder, but they're, they have so many flaws. The right arm is, is basically a straight arm, which is very difficult to get them to do, you know, just different poses. There's there's actually not a lot that you can do with this point of articulation. You just, you know, hold his end up or down. You do get to twist this thing around, but hey, that's pretty much it. The thing that bothered me most is these were mainly based on the original comic where the foot soldiers are standing up straight. This guy is like, you know, he's, he's crunched, he's sitting down. So whenever you try to like get him to stand up, like it, it doesn't work. So they're always crouched like this. This, this is like the stance you can get them to balance in and when you're army building or you're trying to make like a really cool scenery or diorama for you know your toys this is not like a position you want your army builders to be in because <laughs> first up they're gonna take up lots of space and whenever you try to like you know stretch them out like this the way they're actually standing up in the comic what they're based on they fall over so Foot soldiers attack! Still love the foot soldier. I think the mutation ones are a bit better. They're a bit cooler. They're 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 a bit better poseable, but uh yeah. Number five goes out to the original 1988 foot soldier. On to number four. In the number four spot, we actually have a turtle. This is Wacky Action Leo. Now, what is my big problem with this toy right here? It's the sculpt of the head. Oh, what do you mean, dude? Well, I mean they're sword slicing Leonardo with wind-up sword fight match. This just looks freaking terrible. Real sharp. He looks terrified. He looks like, I don't even want to be here. What have they done to my face? It's, I don't get how, how, how anybody gave the green light for this one. This, this little green devil. So his wacky action function is actually pretty okay. But yeah, the sculpt of the head is really something that bothers me so much to this one. And it's a lot like they didn't try with the other ones. This is Wacky Action Bebop and you know, his his facial sculpt is definitely an upgrade. I don't get it, why didn't they just like pop a normal head on him or like a smiling or, or an angry face? This is like, I'm, I'm scared shitless. This, that's the face of someone who's scared shitless and that's not really turtly, is it? In the number three spot we have who is this actually? Because he doesn't look like the cartoon. This is Letterhead. Now, let's take a look at the cartoon, guys. In the cartoon, he looks badass. He looks freaking amazing. And even the NECA new sculpt got it right. That's the way you want Letterhead to look. Ha ha ha! I showed them frogs by gumbo! But this is just... Uh, I, 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 
Like, in the cartoon, he's way bigger than the turtles. And over here, he's just an alligator that's crawling around. He did come with some cool accessories, and the sculpt is okay, but he looks nothing like the actual cartoon. So, yeah. As far as posability, it's, it's quite okay. But he does have this really funny mimic where he, like, points to his head. So, yeah. Definitely the worst representation of the cartoon. Number three spot goes out to Letterhead. And then in the number two spot, we have the Shredder. Well, actually not this one. The one I'm referring to is the cartoon Shredder. You know, from the Turtle Cartoon Show, spent the day finding Shredder in the- A later release, but they basically used the same sculpt as the original 1988 release of the Shredder. They just uh, redid him with new uh, colors. And that's where it, it kind of like ticked me off. I was like, this doesn't look like a cartoon. Welcome, turtles. He's basically got the same problem as the foot soldiers now in the initial release where they're referring back to the original comics. This is okay because he was actually crouching like that in, in one of the panels. So I kind of get that, but you know, when you're doing a subset based on a cartoon, you need to get your, your stuff straight, playmates. What the frick is this? Wacky Action Shredder actually kind of looked like what we needed for this cartoon one. This one actually looks more like it, it would fit in with the cartoon turtles, but just a repaint of the original one, no, no. Uh, I'm not happy with that. Shredder is an iconic character in there. He's one of the main guys, so you need to get that straight. That's why the cartoon Shredder gets the number two spot. So you want to know who is number one? In the number one spot, we have something that kind of looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This might as well be a bootleg. Now, this is actually a super mutant turtle. They're based on a Japanese cartoon or a anime. They actually did a anime called the Super Mutants, which is kind of cool. But when I first found this toy, I was like, is this really a turtle? This doesn't look like a turtle. I mean, he's got the shell, but yeah, it, it, it does look like an anime. So knowing that it's based on that, it just really kind of feels so weird and fun at the same time. Now, in my opinion, this is probably like the worst finish Playmates turtle incarnation that you can find out there. Uh, I mean, it's it's not bad, but it just doesn't look like the turtles. I think I'm just too focused on what the cartoon and the comics and all the other you know crazy uh, turtle turtle mania stuff was. <laughs> To, to really approach this with the same respect and just nostalgia to it. Now, the weird thing is the Super Mutants, they also got a release over in Japan, which was exclusive to that. <laughs> Basically popping on an extra shell making them actually look more like turtles but they didn't they didn't bring that over to Europe or North America no they brought over these like bland turtles in anime style so it's it's kind of weird but shredder sure look freaking awesome in that toy line now there's also this really weird stuff going on with these super mutants they apparently also can morph into one turtle saint which is crazy. That figure is something I want. It looks so weird and so intriguing at the same time. So even though this is my number one of <laughs> my number one worst turtle out there in the vintage toy line, it's intriguing. It's something I want to learn more about because it's so unknown. I guess it's just because the cartoon got stuck over in Japan and didn't come to Europe. That's why I I, I just can't get into it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my top five worst TMNT figures out there. I'm so glad I didn't have to include any of the next mutations or you know other ones because then this list would have been really long well they're probably having a truly bodacious time i want to thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave down in the comments below if there's any other top 10s you'd like me to do and i will see you in the next video see you later bye